Hey everybody, Kress, a long-established and well-respected 100-year-old tool brand from Germany, is doing things here in the United States that no other brand is doing. In 2023, Kress completed developing and releasing their new cyber system battery technology. At the core of its cyber system strategy, Kress introduced a brand new and exciting battery platform, get this, that boasts an eight-minute charge which is currently the world's fastest charging time to my knowledge. Uh, there are three parts to this Crest Cyber system. The first is the Cyber Tank. It's a huge portable power station. We'll talk about these in a minute. The second is two different size battery Cyber Packs, Cyber Pack batteries. And the third uh, are six individual cordless power tools, OPE stuff. All right, the Cyber Tank. The Crest Cyber Tank has an unprecedented eight minute charging time from zero to 100% charge when it's using their DC to DC cyber tank charger. The eight minute charging claim is made with their cyber tank operating in what they call flash charging or a booster mode. Otherwise, the standard charging rate is 14 minutes for up to three different batteries in any combination. Now, flash charging is only available in the charging port labeled number one, this uh, port number one they call it, and only if the cyber tank is above 20% in charge. Now, the CyberTank is essentially a 400 pound massive battery and charger that's designed to be mounted in a truck or trailer. It has 5,040 watt hours or 7,200 watt hour capacity depending on the model and can quickly charge the smaller 4 amp hour or 11 amp hour multiple times throughout the day, multiple times. The DC to DC charging is extremely efficient and fast as energy requires no conversion and a large amount of power can be transferred from one battery to another quickly. The cyber tank plugs into an AC power source, presumably overnight, right, when you're home, and it's recharged in four or five hours, depending on the model size that you have. The cyber tank must be plugged into a 100, 240 volt AC um, power source. It draws up to 15 amp current max or 1800 watts. Cress also has an AC to DC charging solution with their KAC840. Now it's a, um, it's a commercial 30 amp AC charger and we tested this charger with our tools here. Uh, while the AC charger is not nearly as fast as the eight minute DC to DC charger, it was able to charge an 11 amp hour CyberPak battery in just under 25 minutes and a four amp hour battery in 12 minutes. Now this is still unbelievably fast, right? Compared to other industry leaders that we're used to dealing with. So by comparison, the 11 amp hour cyber pack, it's 660 watt hours compared to that new MX Forge battery, the eight amp hour, which is 576 watt hours. The new Milwaukee Supercharger can charge their battery in 45 minutes. Crest can do it in 25. It's pretty fast. So I just wanna say, cause I know the comments, rapid charging, it's typically not good for long-term health of a battery, right? Well, despite this, Crest guarantees 3000 life cycles, way more than other batteries. That's charge and discharge. Uh, on these packs, and that's impressive. Nobody else is doing that. I think the important message here is that this rapid eight minute, 12 minute charge time means that pros, pro landscapers, crews, have now have a solution to rapidly use and swap batteries throughout the day and stay on top of productivity, which is comparable to using a gas uh, platform. Uh, look, let's talk about those two cyber tanks. There's two different size cyber tanks, a five kilowatt unit, it's gonna cost 10,499, and a 7.2 kilowatt unit, and that's gonna run 13,999. Pricey, I know, bear with me, let me, let me keep explaining the system because it's important. I mentioned earlier that there are two different CyberPak batteries. There is a four amp hour and 11 amp hour, and those batteries use, it's like Life PO4, it's lithium ion phosphate chemistry, and are 240 watt hours and 660 watt hour charge capacities respectively. The cyber pack batteries are heavy. And for example, that 11 amp hour battery, it's 17 pounds by itself. And I, I look, I get it. Many OP manufacturers have a challenging and engineering problem trying to you know, get enough power, battery power to compete with gas power tools, but yet keep the tool weight down. And that's a huge challenge. Oftentimes these manufacturers, they'll use materials that are uh, plastic or thinner and it, it, yeah, it gets a chintzy, a flimsy kind of delicate feel. Crest clearly decided to take the hit on weight in exchange for quality and durability. They just went 
super durable, robust, and it's heavy. For example, the 60 volt 35N, since the Newtons, the backpack blower, has thick and durable components from the frame down to the tip of the metal reinforcement on the blower nozzle, and it weighs 32.2 pounds. Now, to compensate for that extra weight, the blower does incorporate a really well-designed and supportive harness to take kind of balance that weight, so that helps. Uh, as far as the cyber system tools, Crest currently has six 60 volt cyber system tools, 21 inch lawnmower, the backpack mower, a 16 inch chainsaw, an edger, um, and a 16.5 inch gas trimmer, as well as they have a hedge trimmer. The team here at Toolbox Buzz received four Crest tools to evaluate. And we looked at individually, we did individual reviews on the, um, the line trimmer, the self-propelled lawnmower, the chainsaw, and the backpack mower. Now, we also did some pretty cool testing on these tools individually in these reviews. And um, what I'm uh, I guess what I'm about to cover is just a summary. So if you really want more specifications, maybe learn how we tested these tools, run times, all that stuff, well, then you need to go to toolboxbuzz.com, the website, and you need to read the individual reviews. The articles have much more in-depth detail and specs and great photos and all that stuff. So check out the individual reviews we did on these tools. I'm just gonna talk about some notable features that, of the things that we covered. So the chainsaw. The chainsaw has excellent, it's an excellent cutting performance and it's fast to rev up, right to full power. Uh, it also sounds smoother than most saws that we've used. There's a noticeable difference in the tone the motor makes. It just sounds smooth and refined. During our testing process, we used the Crest saw on a variety of hardwood trees with different diameters. So, for example, uh, the largest piece of wood that uh, we cut uh, was 24 inch diameter ash log that required a cut from each side to complete the, the, the cut. Um, or to complete the sever, I should say. The crest handled this task without any issues. While making length of bar cuts, the crest was smooth and comfortable. It had very, very little vibration. The saw is also difficult to bog down. Now look, I'm, I'm not saying it doesn't. We, we could aggressively lean on this thing and bog it down, but it cuts smoothly and consistently throughout our species of testing, our wood. Overall, it is an impressive chainsaw. And it's gonna cost as a bear tool, I'm just gonna give bear tool prices, $349.99. Uh, I wanna talk a little bit about notable features of the blower. So the backpack blower, it's rated for 35 Newtons of blowing force at 890 CFMs. Most, it's probably the most powerful electric cordless blower on the market. In fact, the blower force is only really topped by two of the largest and loudest heavy duty gas powered models out there. That's impressive. The blower showed amazing, amazingly consistent performance over the course of its, of its battery life, the runtime. It ran at four speed at its highest power setting for over just over 13 minutes with the 11 amp hour battery. I do wanna note that that's four minutes longer than the charging time of eight minutes, right? So you're gonna be able to swap those batteries out fast. The blower standalone tool it's gonna sell for $499.99. If we move on to the mower, the very first thing that was noticeable about the mower was its weight and how robustly sturdy it was built. The deck of the mower reminds us of an old school push mower that were built to last forever. Our parents had them for decades. It has reinforced steel deck that's thicker and way more robust than many of the riding mowers. The steel deck has specifically been designed to increase suction for the bagging option. Uh, with four different blade options and an optimized deck geometry, Crest has basically created a mower with exceptional grass collection. Combined with a 2.5 bushel bag, users can run longer without emptying the bag. The wheels are robust and also heavy duty, and they provide just easy maneuverability and adjustment. Um, mower has a two point height adjustment, very easy to use and intuitive, and the controls on the, on the 21 inch self-propelled mower are simple, straightforward, and we found them super easy and really well placed, nicely designed. We tested this mower in both mulching mode and bagging mode, and it provided the same or better performance than we had expected with a gas mower, which is always kind of be, gonna be our standard, our benchmark. This is the, 
this is the result basically of DC motors powering the cutting blade, right? Which we've come to appreciate with the large cordless mowers, basically when we've done our cordless head to heads, tall, wet grass for this mower was not a problem. Uh, it churns through it and just, it's a walk in the park for it. The self-propelled wheels on this mower will likely tow you around the yard and most likely even pull a small car uphill. It's really powerful. It's hard. It was hard to quantify the power of this mower in an effective way. But we put it up, we put it up against any gas mower, really would, under any testing situation. It's that powerful. And the mower itself is gonna cost $7.99 as a bare tool. Um, we'll move on to the line trimmer. So the line trimmer has been designed obviously with professional landscapers and maintenance screws in mind. Uh, the commercial motor on this, 1.2 kilowatt of power, which is equivalent to a 30cc two-stroke gas powered trimmer. So it's it's on par power-wise. The trimmer motor can be adjusted with three-speed settings. You can either maximize the power uh, and runtime depending on the application you're looking for. So power or runtime. It also includes a heavy-duty non-flexible steel drive shaft for long-term durability, as well as an aluminum gear head. In addition, the quick load trimmer head includes a 30-foot uh, spool reel capacity, reducing the need to restring, which is a, obviously a pain in the neck. I, I, my, pet peeve for trimmers. Um, look, this trimmer, it's a beast. It's a commercial grade tool from top to bottom. It's packed with power, greater ergonomics, and simple controls. It's well built and comparable to any professional trimmer we've used. Gas trimmer, cordless trimmer. Uh, the trimmer itself is going to cost $349.99 as a bare tool. Okay, um, Crest also has what they call a commercial app. Now, they launched the, an app for these tools, and basically it's gonna feature uh, like an anti-theft locking for the cyber tank, tool tracking, battery status, maintenance reminders, which is nice, and more. Um, so I just wanted to mention a little bit, I'm not gonna get too deep into the app. I do wanna talk about pricing and investment. The Cresc OPE lineup is impressive with unbelievable power at its core. The tools and the battery system really impressed us here at Toolbox Buzz. These tools are clearly intended for lawn care professionals looking to invest long-term battery platform powered solutions. So as a result, the cost of the Crest commercial line, particularly the batteries and charger, are steep. The, to protect the investment, Crest offers what I think is, is, is pretty cool. It's a tiered warranty system depending on the equipment and your use. Most companies are going to offer two to three year warranty, while Crest has a, uh, an extensive five, no, six, sorry. They have a six year warranty or 30,000 cycle warranty on the batteries. So I thought that was pretty impressive. I wanna mention the return on investment calculator. It's on their website and it helps you determine if this investment is right for you. Crest offers this to calculate, for you to help calculate your return on investment. And like I said, it's on their website, but I'm gonna put a link to it in the video description below for you guys. Okay. So the biggest drawback for battery tools has always been runtime and charging. Crest has that solved now. Probably the biggest issues facing professional landscapers is cost. Investing in a battery powered equipment is expensive, especially when you try to do it all at one time, right? Uh, it's no secret that electric equipment, battery components are way more expensive than gas powered tools. And that's primarily due to the cost of the batteries. But we look at it as comparable to prepaying for fuel because electricity, it's proven, electricity is cheaper than gas overall. All right, let's talk about my final thoughts. Toolbox Buzz has been reviewing power tools long enough to remember huge transitions in our industry. Cordless technology, lithium ion, multi-tools, all this stuff, you know. But Crest has unlocked a major transition in OPE with this 60 volt lineup, and it's sure to revolutionize the industry. This is the real deal and something I think that landscapers and professional lawn care companies, especially ones working in areas that cannot use gasoline powered engines, they should take this new product seriously. They need to look at it closer. When you combine really good quality with superior engineering, you've got a winner. And Crest has hit a home run here, guys. I honestly feel they're trailblazing and gonna set the bar in this. And I absolutely know that 
other companies, companies we work with all the time, are struggling to deal with this recharge power. How do you compare and compete with gasoline and, and continually compete throughout the day? Crest figured it out. So it's expensive, absolutely. But if you're a, a pro contractor and you're serious about what you do, here's a solution for you. Guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a comment. I'm sure there's gonna be great discussion in the comment section. Be polite, be courteous. I look forward to reading your comments. And please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And if you're not already a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button and that notification bell right there. Take care.